Hi all. I'm making this video because um, I don't see any of the usual outlets uh, doing a direct comparison of the new uh, RTX 3090 against the 2080 Ti and V-Link powered system, which is what I've got at the moment. Even though we've had the 3090 around for a few weeks now, and there will be plenty of opportunity to do that particular direct comparison. It doesn't seem to be appearing on YouTube. Um, within this little uh, video, I'm going to use the uh, terms SLI or NVLink uh, fairly interchangeably throughout the video, even though in practice there are some differences. But just for this video, I'm going to use either to mean the same thing. Anyway, this lack of a uh, direct comparison has got me thinking. Uh, there are reviews of the 3090, uh, and there are reviews of the 2080 Ti NVLink system particularly the gaming performance and from what we can see the uh, RTX 3090 comes out a clear second to the 2080 Ti systems. Uh, I put the small comparison I've done up on the screen I put it in a spreadsheet. You can pause it if you want to see the details but there are plenty of other uh, indirect comparisons of 3090s on SLI uh, SLI 2080 Ti's out there so you can always look for some more um, examples of uh, there's not enough here for you um the upshot is you'd have to buy uh two 3090s to match the performance of two 2080 ti's because one 3090 just won't do it but is this fact somehow being kept quite deliberately i mean where where are these uh, reviews that show this and two 3090s would be very expensive if you could even get them uh, at all um Prices for 30 series cars are through the roof because they're hard to get hold of. Looking at a very popular auction site just now, literally moments ago, prices in the here in the UK for 3090s are all above £2,000 and near to £3,000. That's double the uh, stated price, but plus more than double. And these systems, uh, the single 3090s, can't beat a 2880Ti and V-Link system. At least in some games, anyway. Um, a further question that arises is uh, if this this lack of gaming performance of the 3090 in comparison to the 2080 Ti SLI systems is being kept quiet. Why is it being kept quiet? I mean, what what is the point of it? I don't quite understand. Maybe it's not a valid question. I don't know. NVIDIA have also announced that they'll be shifting the responsibility for SLI stroke NVLink support from their own operations to individual game developers. That would possibly make the 3090 competitive with a single 2080 Ti or a 2080 Ti NVLink system if that system wasn't very useful or in widespread use. In other words, if uh, NVLink or SLI stopped working. And these issues are further clouded by the fact that the NVLink system works about as well as it ever worked in those games where it works at all. Though, of course, there are many games which don't support this system. There are other hardware shortages at the moment which are driving up prices, notably for HOTAS, Struck Joystick controllers. This is annoying me as I bought the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and it was hard to get hold of even the most basic joystick at anything near the recommended selling price. Again, the auction sites are full of this hardware at vast markups. Three, four, five, just multiples of the uh, retail price, but then on uh, normal retail outlets, you can't buy anything. To conclude, now might not be the best time to buy a 3090 card. As any kind of upgrade from a 2080 Ti and V-Link system, as the, the 3090 just doesn't perform as well uh, as the NVLink V-Link uh, 2080 Ti's. Might even be uh, cheaper to buy a 2080 Ti and V-Link system. But will it work in the future with the N uh, NVIDIA saying, well, they're going to withdraw their support for it? Anyway, for me, in the meantime, I'm going to hang on to my 2080 Ti and V-Link system until some better options, um, better 3090 cards or 3090 Ti or 3080 Ti or something like that, come onto the market at a more realistic price. So 
so there's more of them available there. Anyway, these are the questions that are uh, in my mind at the moment, and I thought it was worth asking them. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye.